Okay. Today, folks, we're going to talk about compressors. We all have uh, compressor problems, and a lot of times we're trying to determine which winding is shorted, which ones they got the problem, is it start, is it running the common. But the thing I want to talk to you about today, what if the little drawing that the manufacturer puts in that shows common, start, and run, what if that's missing? How do you determine that? And my experience in the field, that's happened to me several times. So it's important to know as a technician how to determine that. So we're going to talk about this a second. First thing we're going to do, we're going to put the meter, the field piece meter, we're going to put it on ohms. That measures the resistance. So right now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to randomly pick two leads here. I'm going to go across these two. What's my measurement? 2.8. Okay, I'm going to go across this one here. 2.1. I'm going to go across this one here. 1.3. So if I go across these right here, now I know I've got 2.8. That tells me that this is my common terminal right here. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to figure out which one is my start and which one is my run. So I'm going to go from my common to my start. It's 2.0, okay? I'm going to go from common to this terminal, 1.2. So now I know this is 2.0. This is my start winding because the start winding is larger than the run winding because it takes more current to start a compressor than to run a compressor. So now I know, folks, this is my common, this is my start, and this is my run. We happen to have our little diagram that the factory sent so let's put it in here let's just see if that's what it says we put it in here and we place it and that's it common start run if you have any questions if you have any problems give us a call or email us at jonesairconditioning.com or call us at 239-596-5855